Here is a brief introduction to stoichiometry and how it works. Stoichiometry simply means calculations involving amounts of different substances taking part in a chemical reaction. In order to carry out a stoichiometric calculation, we must start with a balanced chemical equation. In this video, the letters A and B will represent two different substances that are included in a given chemical equation. A and B can be anywhere in the equation, either on the same side or on different sides. We'll gradually develop a framework that can be used as a guideline for all stoichiometry problems. Once you understand this, stoichiometry is actually fairly easy. Really, it is. Let's say we're given a quantity of substance A, either used up or produced, and we're asked to find a quantity of substance B, either used up or produced, in the same chemical reaction. When using a chemical equation for calculations, we must always determine the moles of substance A, and using the equation, we always find the moles of substance B. Moles are at the heart of stoichiometry problems. We convert from moles of A to moles of B using the ratio of the coefficient of B to the coefficient of A. This is often called the mole bridge. The amount of substance A that we're given could be expressed as several different quantities. Whatever we're given, we must always convert it to moles. For example, we might be given the mass of A in grams, or the molecules of A. Or if A is a gas at STP, we might be given liters. Or if A is present as a solution, we might be given the molarity and the liters of solution. Step one in any stoichiometry problem is to convert the given quantity of A into moles of A. In step two, we use the coefficient ratio to convert moles of A into moles of B. And in step three, we convert the moles of B to the quantity of B we're asked for. It might be the mass of B in grams, or the molecules of B. Or if B is a gas at STP, we might be asked for the volume, which we can calculate in liters. Or if B is in solution, we may be asked to calculate either the molarity or the volume of solution B. All of these quantities can be calculated from the moles of B. At this point, you have all the tools that you need to make any of these conversions. Don't let this diagram scare you, it includes all of the possible conversions. Each problem you actually encounter will probably involve three conversions at the most. So the process of stoichiometry is really quite simple. You start with the given quantity of substance A, and in step one, convert it to moles of A. In step two, you use the coefficient ratio in the balanced equation to convert moles of A to moles of B, the substance asked for. And in step three, you convert the moles of B to the quantity of B asked for. Each of the videos following this one illustrate how this process is used for various stoichiometric problems. Each of the videos that follow, it's best to pause the video after it states the question and see if you can work out the answer yourself first. Then resume the video to check your answer and the solution to the problem. Have fun with it!